The Moai of Easter Island are mysterious and majestic statues that have fascinated the world for centuries. In this video, we will explore what the Moai are, where they are located, and how they were created and used by the ancient Rafa Nui people. The Moai are monolithic human figures carved from volcanic rock with disproportionately large heads and elongated features. They range in height from about 4 to 12 meters and weigh up to 86 tons. There are more than 900 Moai scattered around the island, most of them facing inland towards their ancestral lands. The Moai are believed to represent the living faces of deified ancestors who were revered and worshipped by the Rafa Nui people. The Moai are located on Rafa Nui, also known as Easter Island, a remote island in the eastern Pacific Ocean. Rafa Nui is part of Chile, but it is over 3,500 kilometers away from the mainland. It is one of the most isolated inhabited places on Earth, with no other landmass within a radius of 2,000 kilometers. Rafa Nui is a volcanic island with three main extinct volcanoes and several smaller cones. The Moai were carved from a type of rock referred to as tuff. It is a relatively porous and lightweight rock composed of fine-grained volcanic materials. The Moai were constructed between 800 to 500 years ago by the Rafa Nui people, who used simple tools such as stone chisels and hammers to shape the Moai out of the rock wall at Ranararaku. The Moai were then transported from the quarry to various stone platforms called Ahu around the island's perimeter. The exact method of transportation is still debated, but some theories suggest that the Moai were moved on wooden sledges or rollers, or that they were walked upright using ropes and poles. The Moai were used as sacred objects of worship and symbols of political and social status by the Rafa Nui people. The Moai were placed on top of the Ahu, which served as ceremonial altars and burial sites for important chiefs and ancestors. The Moai were also adorned with red scoria topknots called pukayo, which represented hair or headdresses, and white coral eyes with obsidian pupils, which gave them a lifelike appearance. The Rafa Nui people believed that the Moai had mana, or spiritual power, that could protect them from enemies and natural disasters. The Moai also reflected the clan identity and territorial claims of different groups on the island. The Moai were discovered by European explorers around 300 years ago. In 1722, a Dutch expedition led by Jacob Roggeveen arrived on Easter Sunday, hence giving the island its name. The explorers were amazed by the sight of hundreds of statues standing on the shore, some of them still intact and others fallen or broken. They also encountered the Rafa Nui people, who had suffered a drastic population decline due to diseases, wars, and environmental degradation. The explorers reported their findings to Europe, sparking curiosity and interest in the island and its culture. Over the next two centuries, more explorers, missionaries, and traders visited the island, bringing further changes and challenges to its inhabitants. Today, the Moai are recognized as one of the most remarkable achievements of human creativity and engineering in history. They are also a source of pride and identity for the Rapa Nui people, who have preserved their culture and language despite many hardships. The Moai are protected by Chilean law and have been a World Heritage Site since 1995. They attract thousands of tourists every year who come to admire their beauty and mystery. If you found this video informative, remember to like and subscribe to keep the spirit of discovery alive.